Hey, what's up guys? It's Leo here, and as you guys might have noticed, I'm not an English speaker, I'm from Brazil, but I'll try my best though to make another video on Rainbow Six Siege. Well, as we all know, last week Ubisoft has confirmed that Rainbow Six Siege will get a year or two of content. Eight new operators from four different countries, four new maps, new weapons and skins and a bunch of customizations, all for free. Season Pass will be available for those who want to get all the operators a week earlier and get more renounced to buy in-game content. This is the year to roadmap. In February, we will have the Spain DLC. In May, we are expecting the Hong Kong DLC. August, the Polish one. And finally, in November, the South Korean CTU. That's all we know so far. These are the official informations, but what we can expect from these counter-terrorism units? Well, I did a deep research about the most popular CTUs in these countries, and this is what I found. In Spain, we have the GEO, Grupo Especial de Operaciones, or Special Operations Group. GEO is focused on terrorism attacks, especially in aircraft hijacking and hostage rescue. GEO was used during the 1992 Olympic Games in Barcelona. It was created in 1982. It's a well-trained and very selective group. GEO size is only a hundred agents. They are well known by using repel and deal with explosives. GEO firearms are Mauser SP, 66 HK33 and the Sig Sauer P226. The Royal Hong Kong Police Force is the main counter-terrorism unit in the country. I don't even dare try to pronounce it in the native language, I'm so sorry. It was created in 1969 by the Queen Elizabeth II. The unit is huge, over 3,000 men serve. The Hong Kong police force also face protests and small issues. Their speciality are the investigation and fast assault. As equipment, they have the M16, Coach M4, SSG 2000, and the Mini 14. The Polish force, Grom, I also cannot pronounce. It seems to be Ienitska Woskowa. Uh, something like that, that means Operational Maneuvering Response. It was created in 1990 after a few incidents in the country, especially due to immigration. The size is over 650 agents and they are well known for unconventional warfare role. The Polish guns are SR-16, the Coach M4A3, the HK-416, G-36, and the Sig Sauer P228. Finally, we have the 707th Special Missions Battalion. Once again, <laughs> I cannot pronounce it in Korean. Anyways, to avoid a massacre like happened in the Olympic Games of 1972 in Munich, when Seoul, capital of South Korea, was announced to host the 1988 Games, this unit was created six years before the event to provide security. It's a small group, just around 200 agents. The 707th has such quick reaction time and discipline. Their arsenal is Varai, they have the Daewoo K11, the Benelli M1014, the same of Castle and Thermite, the Kel Tech KSG, and the HK USP. Well, these CTUs are the most popular in these countries. It doesn't mean that they will be in the game. It's not confirmed though. That's all my thoughts based in the research I just did. But let me know what you think. Would you like to see a different CTU in the game? Let me know down below at the comment section. That's it guys, catch you later and bye amigos.